Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv, and uh, I'll, today I want to talk about, hmm, what am I going to talk about? Guess what it's time for? Guess what it's time for? Buona.tv Q&A. Buona da TV Q and A. 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 Welcome to another installment of Buona.tv Q&A and uh, I want to go through my YouTube inbox as fast as I can and try to answer some of these questions you guys are sending me mostly about the iPhone but there's some other stuff in here this first one's from gmoney81 he says where do I go to download Ponish 2 2.2 go to google.com and type in the words download Ponish Tool 2.2 should be the very first link um, this is Lloyd Tron DD. He asks, Hey there, I was wondering if you could help me with an iPhone problem. I have a 2G iPhone with 2.2 firmware and I wanted to jailbreak it. I downloaded Quick Pwn on my computer, but everything is different to your YouTube video. My download ended up in Big Comet. When I opened it, it's totally different. Also, will I lose things like Google Street View and any apps I have installed and paid for in iTunes? I want to jailbreak because I don't have an install. I don't have installer in Cydia and would love to be able to get the cool background wallpapers and background wallpaper videos. Thanks for reading. Um, lots of questions here. I don't know why yours looks different from mine on Quick Um Maybe they've changed it since I've used it, but uh, it should look the same. Big Comet um, sounds like a BitTorrent downloader. I believe it is. When you go to the the uh, the Pony Studio download sites, most often they offer a BitTorrent download, so it'll open BitTorrent, uh, BitComment or your BitTorrent client. Um, it's not, those are fine if you get them from the uh, from the official seeds. If you go to the iPhone dev team's website and use the links there, you should be alright. Um, so your second part of your question was, will you lose anything like Google Street View or any apps you install and pay for in iTunes? No, you won't. Um, a lot of people are concerned about that. You won't lose your apps that you pay for. They're stored in iTunes. So uh, if you backed up your iPhone to iTunes, they'll be able to be uh, reinstalled from there. You can also re-download them from the iTunes App Store. They automatic, automatic, automatically know that you bought the application. So if you download again, they're not going to charge you again. Um, Google Street View works in my jailbroken iPhone 2.2. And everything works. There's nothing that doesn't work. So you don't have to worry about losing functionality or losing your applications. This one comes from Fun LS Fun. Funis Fun? Fun LS Fun. He says, uh, I was wondering if you could answer some of my questions for jailbreak. First of all, how do I update the jailbreak software? Second of all, does Apple know that I use unauthorized firmware and lock up my iPhone? Third of all, does it still work seamlessly with iTunes about jailbreak. First question, how do you update your jailbreak software? Um, what I do on a Mac is that I just overwrite the old one. Uh, on the Mac all you gotta do is drag and drop or copy and paste the applications on Windows. Just go through the normal routines of at remove programs and uh, reinstall it from there. That's how you update it. They don't have an automatic update mechanism although I recommend they should get one. Uh, second of all, does Apple know that I use unauthorized firmware and lock up my iPhone? So uh, it sounds like you're worried that Apple knows you're using a jailbroken version of the iPhone and are they going to do something about it? I don't know if they know, but I'm on the under the assumption that they do know. And uh, if they do know, I don't think they're going to do anything about it. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm a very, I'm a conspiracy theorist. I, I, I'm, I'm very skeptical. So I always believe that Apple has some, some secret stuff that we don't know about. So to say that they don't know, I wouldn't say that, but I wouldn't be worried about it. Um, 
I, I, I like I said, I, I just wouldn't be worried about it. If, if they do do something, then we're all in trouble, but I don't think they will. Uh, third of all, does it still work seamlessly with iTunes if you jailbreak? Yes, everything works. If you jailbreak, iTunes will not know the difference between a jailbroken iPhone and a regular iPhone. Everything just works. Okay, where are we at? Four minutes. Probably should stop it here real quick and start it back. And we're back. Next question is from Vols Rocks 8 He says, okay, I'm purchasing an older version of the iPhone 2G. Um, first of all, I don't know why people call it a 2G. It's a it's first generation iPhone. So iPhone 2G is actually the iPhone 3G. Anyway, semantics. First of all, when I plug it in, will it automatically want to get to 2.2? And if so, do I want to get 2.2? You're asking me, do you want to get 2.2? My goal is to jailbreak it. And also, where's the best place to download Quick Phone? Thanks. Uh, okay, so first of all, when you plug it in, will it automatically want to get 2.2? That depends on your iTunes settings. You can tell it to automatically check for updates every so often, and it'll do that. Um, I believe there's also another setting related to that, but it's all related to iTunes settings. So it may want to do it, it may not, but you will have ultimate control on whether you update because it'll it'll prompt you says, hey, do you, there's an update available? Would you like to update? Just tell it no if you don't want to. And then you're asking me, do you want to get 2.2? I don't know. <laughs> I can't answer that for you. Uh, do you? <laughs> do you want to get 2.2? Uh, where's the best place to download quick phone see the first question Google download quick phone 2.2 all right this is G money 81 again he says when I when I unlock my iPhone 3g for 2 mobile will anything be different or will it work with exactly the same if, if I were for singular he means AT&T also do you have to do the same process for unlocking the iPhone 3g as you did for unlocking the regular iPhone um, Okay, one at a time. If you unlock your iPhone 3G for T-Mobile, you won't have visual voicemail. So visual voicemail allows you to see your voicemail like in an email inbox almost. Um, that's a feature of AT&T. You can't do that on T-Mobile. So that's gonna be different. Um, I haven't unlocked my phone before, but I imagine you may have to tweak some settings to get everything to work. Um, Phone calls will just work, but I think the internet is going to require some more stuff. Uh, just just look that stuff up on Google. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and the same process for unlocking the iPhone 3G. Wow. Excuse me. Uh, it is the same as the regular iPhone. It should be. They recently came out with a, with an update um, to unlock the iPhone 3G. I think it's going to use the same process. I'm not sure about that. One. Quick question about the iPhone 2G and from there you go with the 2G again. I've been watching all your videos and they're amazing. Well done. Thank you. Uh, this is from Rich182. I'm getting an iPhone 2G for Christmas and I was wondering which firmware I should use when I jailbreak it. People are asking, guys, here's, here's a word of advice. Do the research on what's included in the firmware and decide if you want it. Then if you do want it, then see what's necessary to get it. If you ask me, should you get it? I, I, if I give you my opinion, it's not going to help because it's ultimately, you know, what you want to do. Um, he says, I will be on O2 and Pagey and want to jailbreak. Don't care about unlocking. Which firmware will be most suited for me? That's a better question. 2.2. <laughs> Go ahead and do 2.2. Um, you don't care about unlocking, so go ahead with 2.2. That's easy. Yeah, go ahead with 2.2 latest firmware. Use Quick Pwn to jailbreak it and update it, and uh, you'll be <laughs> fine. All right, guys, that's all I have for my voice. I can hear my 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 throat's going crazy. I'm trying to fight this cold. So that concludes this episode of One of TV Q and A for December 20th, 2008. And uh, look forward to more of your questions. Take care.